This is the installation procedure for audio modder machine expansions. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to install one pack and you can just rinse and repeat for the rest. So first thing we're going to do is, is install Macro X and FX. And we're going to install that in the Ableton folder which is normally in your music folder on OS X. On, in Windows it's located in a different position. Uh, but we just want to install into this folder, not actually in the user library because Ableton don't let you install user created packs there. And now we're going to add that folder to two places. So we're not going to add the root folder here, we're going to add this folder which contains the actual effects. And so now that's going to be browsable on places. You can use Macro X combined with any of the machine kits to improve automation. So I'm going to demonstrate uh, the installation of this pack one. There's an, another optional pack. Uh, I don't actually use that myself. I just provide that for thoroughness at the moment because uh, normally all of the kits are they have split routing, so in Ableton you can add individual effects to each pad. Um, this version of the kits does not do that. Uh, as a result, that preserves any master effects that are used in machine. Um, so the sound of the kit is more like native instruments intended. Um, it's not possible to keep the master effect on all channels and route them, but in my opinion, it's far more useful to be able to route the individual pads in Ableton uh, from the get-go. So this is the this is how um, it's recommended you use it. So we'll install that pack. And we're going to install that again in the Ableton folder. We can now add that location into our places. So again, we're not we're not going to add this root folder. We're going to add this folder, which actually contains the expansions in them. And now this will be browsable in the uh, user files on your Ableton Push. So to give you an example of how this might work, if you load up a kit. You can also load up Macro X in front of that. And this is all able to be done from push. This is just a demonstration from within Ableton uh, for the installation procedure to check that everything's working. And we can click map dials. It's initializing and this will turn off once it's actually mapped all the dials. What this means is that uh, within each pad, you get to be able to uh, change parameters on the machine kit by changing these dials. So if each sound is going to point to a, um, a different dial within machine, and that should be enough for you to be able to get going and sequencing with machine and macro X, each, uh, each sound is individually routed. So you can see there that from the get go, you're ready to start adding effects.